Okay, in this video I would like to show you how to disable compactrunner.exe because when you go to task manager you should see in our open resource monitor when you have got hard drive index performance you see what process is using high disk usage resource you should see when you go to resource monitor okay now that's why I found out this is issue of Windows telemetry but we can disable this first in services proper EMSE what you have to do find connect this users experience and telemetry this must be disabled if you go to services this is to do with high usage of hard drive this is blamed for using too much resource of your hard drive I noticed when I disabled before I disabled this my hard drive was running at 50% ok here we have to set take no action reset failure count to 0 if, if, it's, if you leave 1 this service will reset but if you leave value 0 it won't reset another option is uh, when you go to task scheduler you will disable in task scheduler this application I think application service you have to disable Microsoft compatibility appraisal disable everything which is to do with telemetry in windows registry you go to if you haven't if you got home windows 10 home go hacky local machine i think it was system uh, i believe it was hmm, where i was going before No, this must be... I have to check. I think system. Hmm. Hmm, I don't remember. Did I go correctly? I have to check because this was telling me where to go Ah, okay I know already I forgotten I just was messing up Hacky local machine software You have to go to policy Microsoft Windows data collection can be a little bit tricky hmm, I, I don't have any value here but he tells I think people have to create allow telemetry Because if you haven't got Windows 10 and Pro, you will probably have to create a key. I just needed to check path because I forgot path. How to get there. Okay, that's fine. 
I have to go fast to hack you local machine software policies Microsoft Windows data collection can be a little bit tricky uh, set value to zero which means is disabled if you haven't got Windows then pro another thing after disabling after when you disable it telemetry I have to find a short name of this. Oh, this must be disabled as well. And another thing you have to disable background intelligent terms and service and you do in recover take no action and super fetch you disable i'm telling again about this because i no longer have 100 percent usage of my hard drive is zero because i disabled everything also windows search please disable you don't need this uh, also check your sata options you have to really pay attention on this standard SATA host controller from 2006 is not really compatible with Windows 10 if you if it's being installed by default you go to details device instant path check in registry Okay, let's get back to our settings. Hockey local machine system current control set enum ECI. Uh, find uh, for this key value. I'm publishing this video tutorial because this is to do with hard drive SATA controller. If MSI supported is to 1, this will make your hard drive to behave like it's not compatible. Because when you set your motherboard to SATA, you will be still able to install Windows 10. But value is 1, it cannot be 1, it must be 0, because it won't interrupt your SATA drivers, and Windows will not cause uh, problems with SATA drives when you set value to zero is very important. Leave a zero value, which means is disabled. Another thing, virtual memory page file. Please, if you have got lots of memory, please disable or reset. What I did, I completely disabled. I don't have this. Those drives I should reset. No, oh, it tells me space available. Okay. I think that's it.